Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Sparkle with Jyoti. I am pretty excited to film this video today and bring to you uh, the holiday guide of uh, Sweden like you know uh, what is a Heljadag, what is Arbetstid and uh, what is a you know a holiday like you know what kind of holidays exist here in Sweden. So let's get started and before that if you have not subscribed to the channel please go down below and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified of my each and every video and you do not miss any of that i have over 285 videos on my channel all about swedish lifestyle culture jobs you know everything under the sun so you can definitely uh, have a look at that you know and if you have still questions you can definitely reach out to me the first is arbit steed and over teed, okay that is that the, uh, that means your working hours and your overtime okay uh, so basically the working hours are 40 hours per week which comes to eight hours per day so it starts from seven o'clock you know it can start from eight as well so it's usually eight to five but uh, some companies can also have like seven to six or seven to five kind of working hours and uh, lunch time is between 12 to 1 and uh, usually you know uh, people People do follow like you know very strictly these timings and uh, especially you know uh, the calls the call duration is between uh, 9 to 11 in the morning so if you if you are uh, as an employee or uh, have to call like your clients or colleagues or if uh, your clients have to call you usually this is the time which is 99% uh, uh, is followed here in Sweden and uh, if you are working over time like beyond the 40 hours then uh, you will get paid extra so different uh, rules apply to different companies like different companies have different uh, regulations and uh, you know uh, money or uh, you know uh, payment associated with the hours so definitely check wherever you're working check accordingly what rule applies there so if you have if you're calling like a business or a company you know try to call in the mornings because after lunch you never know you might not find the person you're looking for because usually after lunch people are you know uh, they don't or uh, like you know usually take calls so yeah that is how the uh, working hours and the overtime works here now uh, coming on to next let's talk, talk about the raw dagger that is the red days okay red days are pretty popular uh, you know and people look forward to red days here in sweden uh, red days is nothing but you know it's a uh, red color the days are marked in red in the swedish calendars so there are a lot of standard uh, uh, holidays you know but uh, especially in may uh, actually the most of the leaves and most of the holidays fall in may and june up till july because uh, you know that is the summer time and everybody is pretty pretty excited and happy it's uh, like you know it's the weather is warm and there is so much of light and daylight outside so definitely everybody is more happier during summer uh, so that is how it is and uh, the standard holidays are like uh, your uh, midsummer which is you know a very uh, a day which is celebrated like throughout sweden everybody is happier and you know uh, it's really amazing so that you know it's midsummer then we also have uh, the labor day which is on uh, 1st of may international labor day then we have swedish national day on 6th of june so usually if you notice you know all these days fall uh, in between like uh, you know may and june so that is how uh, the red days are and uh, if you uh, have if you have a uh, happen to see a swedish calendar then just note down the red days so that you can you know be well prepared if you want to plan any holiday or any kind of activities coming on to next kind of holidays are called clam dagger or half dagger okay clam dagger is nothing but uh, the day which falls between a holiday and a weekend so in case say like you know uh, you have uh, uh, on Monday, suppose you have like a holiday, uh, a red day, uh, so people usually take like, you know, it's weekend and it's also like, you know, Friday. So people take like a long weekend, like Friday to Monday, you know, that is very common. It's nothing like legally, uh, you know, written anywhere, but usually uh, it's like assumed and everybody follows it. And also the employment union allows it. So that is, it's not like illegal or anything. It's very common here. And uh, people, you know, usually uh, take like a long weekend. And uh, suppose uh, the, the holiday is starting from like, you know, say Friday, uh, the day before Oh, that is Thursday afternoon itself the businesses and employers you know they close their business or close their shops and the holiday period starts you know so that is uh, the half dag is, is basically half day okay so this is how the uh, uh, clam dagger and half dagger works 
now comes the hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah is nothing but weekend you know so you usually when you are uh, uh, having your friday fika and friday fika is nothing but like you know a coffee and sweets which uh, uh, many many offices and companies follow of course due to covid situation it's not that uh, happening now but uh, in normal times you know friday fika is very very common uh, people you know after like uh, 2 o'clock 2 30 3 o'clock uh, they have their uh, coffee and uh, sweets they all sit together the employees and they share this kind of fika the food and also they discuss their weekend plans so it's like a bonding time it's really fun and i really like this uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, quality here this particular activity because it you know it <clears throat> really is uh, like a good uh, way of unwinding and you know getting getting to know your colleagues so basically weekends you know are uh, like non-working days you hardly you can find anybody working on weekends and weekends are spe especially for recreational time with your family with your friends catching up with your friends like you know maybe sleeping or shopping or cleaning your houses people are really uh, quite uh, relaxed on weekends and Saturday mostly is for uh, roaming outside and shopping and all those things and Sunday is mostly relaxed relaxing with a book or maybe just going to sleep so that is how uh, weekend kind of uh, culture is very 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 uh, popular here like compared to what I was like I was working in retail in India and even weekends were working for me but I really got uh, uh, got and fell in love in this weekend culture so weekends are really like uh, family time so that's how you know uh, so if you're working on weekends in India then this will be like an amazing and welcoming change for you the next uh, kind of holiday is a national day that National Day of Sweden and uh, that is like a low-key event uh, it's not celebrated that much uh, as such like you know with a uh, like pomp and glory uh, but yes uh, people do relax and uh, uh, the royal queen and the royal uh, you know family comes out in Sconson which is a very popular place in Stockholm and uh, yeah so people just relax and that is what uh, uh, the day is uh, so there's not much of like you know celebration as such but uh, it's a low-key affair but yes definitely a holiday to look forward to <laughs> now the next holiday which is midsummer is my personal favorite and i think uh, everybody will agree with me it's almost everybody's favorite and uh, there is a uh, hush hush talks you know that this should be declared like a national day because this is the happiest day uh, people dance around the maypole and they wear very pretty flowers on their heads and it's the flowers are usually made handmade you know by the women here and uh, it's it's a fun event to be everybody is so happy wearing colorful dresses and this is uh, this is you know a kind of unofficial official uh, start of the summer so people are really really um, happy and uh, there is drinking and dancing and eating tons of food and uh, people usually you know enjoy this uh, particular uh, midsummer festival a lot it usually falls between you know 19 to 25th of june and it usually falls on falls on a Friday and 99% uh, of the time it usually rains you know that particular day so this is very symbolic and I've been here for five years and I've really enjoyed this particular festival I will definitely try to in insert some pictures here, here you know for you guys to see uh, but this is a, definitely a festival to look forward to the next kind of holidays are uh, Yule Dagger or uh, also I mean sorry I'm speaking Swedish or his and so basically you know Yule Dogger and uh, Melon Dogger Yule, Yule is basically Christmas and and uh, Christmas is celebrated on 24th of December here and that is also an amazing magical time this is also one of my personal favorites after summer of course uh, but uh, everywhere there are lights and Christmas decorations and people are you know uh, buying lots of uh, presents for their family friends also there are huge huge that is huge sale going on everywhere so definitely uh, people do look forward to and buy jackets shoes and all the uh, sale items for the next year you know so that is how uh, people do the, do here and also there is an amazing yule board you know that yule board is like christmas table and uh, it's very fancy and a lot of restaurants host it ikea does it 
and uh, it's usually cost around like 500 SK to 1000 like 1500 SK as well but IKEA I think does it for 300 SK or so I just attended one Yule board uh, I think it was like two three years back but uh, it's like traditional uh, you know uh, food of uh, Swedish people and there are desserts and of course there is wine and it's a very uh, fancy table you should definitely if you happen to be here you should definitely try at least once in your life and um, these are very amazing days melon dagger is basically the days between the christmas and the new year so people usually travel and meet their friends and family and there is a lot of family time spent and uh, it's it's a definitely a nice holiday to look forward to uh, that is uh, usually after christmas new year the snow is there but sometimes uh, we do have like a snowy christmas as well so it's really a magical time i love the city so much during this time looking at the uh, different kind of lights and lanterns all around around the city it's really beautiful so if you haven't happened to be here you know do not miss this so guys I hope you like this uh, one of a odd kind of a topic which I chose because I really uh, wanted to update you with you know, all these kinds of uh, holidays of course you know these holidays seems like a lot compared to USA or India but uh, you know I think uh, we need that kind of a break as well here because all around the year it's darkness and cold you know so the, the other days or the times only when we really you know have uh, fun and get to spend time with uh, you know friends family and just unwind and relax so i hope you like this video guys if i'm missing something in this video please feel free to uh, comment under uh, this particular video and let me know and uh, if, if there's any mistake on in this video then please forgive me <laughs> and uh, yeah do not forget to like subscribe comment and share guys that that will really mean the world to me we are nearing like 10,000 uh, so help me get there and uh, yeah i will see you in my next video till then stay positive and stay happy bye bye guys take care